All right, this is this is Patrick. He's going to show us his amazing place at Grimmel Grove. So right now he's in front of a beautiful breadfruit. I planted this breadfruit about three years ago. It's about uh, I don't know, close to 20 feet, and uh, we got a bit of a harvest this year from the breadfruit. Um, probably got about maybe about 50 to 75 uh, breadfruit off the the three-year-old trees, each one. Um, so this is small. This is a mall fall right here. And it's a smaller variety, the fruit's a smaller variety, but it is yellow inside, which a lot of the islanders like. The, they like the yellow variety, it's a little sweeter. Right here, this is the other, so this is a, this is a rare variety we have at the Grimmel Grove. This is the Ulufiti. This is a very sweet variety. Um, it doesn't quite fruit as much as the Malfala here, and that could be just because of soil or whatever, um, for whatever reason. Um, but it's really sweet. It's almost like a jack eating like jackfruit and breadfruit together. No way. Oh, that one's really good. Yeah, it's it's quite good. This one's really good raw. Um, definitely the best of the ones we have raw. This one I will be doing some air layers probably after the the air. storm passes, you know. Let's hope for the best. Yeah, let's hope for the best. But I want to <laughs> air layer this. All my rare breadfruits I am I am air layering now with the mall follows because of the uh, the Trees Feed Foundation. I'm not gonna worry about Right. Yeah, air layering because I got the tissue culture. That's true. Yeah. I don't know enough about that. I do have a bread nut on the property. Oh, you do? I'd love yeah. to see it. Yeah, let's take a look at it. I just think it's amazing how they s selected these different varieties and they do so good from the cuttings for air layer. I mean, talking about this tree feeds the whole family. Right, yeah, exactly. So this is a, yeah, we'll this stop one's... here for a second. Uh, we got a few. Let's do this one right here. There's more fruit on here. So this, this is another variety of breadfruit, and um, you can see the difference in the leaf, uh, and you can also see just how the, the tree kind of grows differently. This is a this is a white variety. It's going to get it likes to get taller than Malfala, uh -huh. um, but it's another good variety. It's a, the flesh is, is more white inside. Great for starch. Great for flour. Uh, and like, so any kind of starch, you kind of like potato. You know, it's like more like a potato. More potatoes. Um, but it makes a good flour as well. Um, but it's a it's a it's, it's a good variety that way. Uh, a lot of islanders like the yellow, the yellow, the yellow ones sweet, more, but in, in which has more of a sweetness. Yeah. Have you ate some of the yellow sweeter ones, those like potatoes, or you prefer? Oh yeah, I do both. Eat both I mean, ways. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll the like the mouth olives. That's a that, that's got a yellow, but um, I've cooked up the ulufiti as well as a starch, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But Really, that little fiki would be nice to kind of use more as a as a sweet breadfruit, you know. Um, and I don't get as much from it. I don't know why for sure. So this this one here, this is another breadfruit here, uh, and supposedly uh, Diane uh, Ragoni from the um, uh, breadfruit institute in Hawaii. This is where this came from. Oh wow! wow. Same with the ulufiti actually. And uh, she told me this is actually a new Lufiti with a different um, mother tree, from a different mother tree. So this breadfruit right here actually has seeds as well. Oh, impressive. And I, get, I get about eight seeds. I got some planted in the, my nursery back there. Oh, wow. Um, and so it, it, it's kind of seedy. It's not overly seedy, but you know, you're going to get about eight seeds. And you, just like jackfruit, you can cook the seeds up. You, and eat them. You can eat them. Uh, you can bake them or, you know, do whatever you want. Um, and or you can plant them out um you know breadfruit is not typically known to be true to seed but uh you never know what you'll, you'll how, how long do you think you'd have to wait from seed to see if it starts fruiting it could i don't know could I, vary. I, I don't know i don't know i just i just planted them i i, I just a little test yeah i mean diane would know diane would know i need to kind of get with her okay. they're, they're all, they're all you can't good. be just an air layer and sticking it in the ground or tissue culture because you know what it's going to be. Well, that's the thing. Like, that's more for like having fun with like and seeing what you create. That's Tell me what you're doing here. You're doing like a little. Yeah, so this is like a little uh, kind of a hedging of breadfruit. So I like this. This is this is a malafala again. A malafala, by no means, is a compact uh, or a dwarf breadfruit. You know, some people will call it dwarf. It's not dwarf, but it can it can handle being smaller. So this one, I'm just trying to hedge it. And keep it to about what six feet or so. I want to keep it at, and and experiment with hedging breadfruit, especially the Malfala um, variety, 
uh, and seeing if we can get some fruit from it. This, mm -hmm. this tree produced about five fruits this year. I think I remember seeing it when we yeah. walked over here. Yeah, yeah, we had a couple on the tree at that point, and you know, I harvest those. And um, but again, it, it's it makes such a great ornamental as well. Yeah. You know, it really does. That that I think it it could be something for some people. This would be perfect for the greenhouse if you're in a cold climate. You can kind of yeah. keep it short and compact. That's perfect, and it looks beautiful. It does look beautiful. I'm well, thinking. Imagine having a whole hedge of that. Like it know, would be it'd great. Be, it'd be really cool, wouldn't it? We're thinking of trying to the one I get from you. If, if you had any air layers of this, we were going to try to do a compact tree under her mango and avocado tree. Okay. And see if I can kind of grow, kind of keep a little bit warmer. Okay. Yeah. And see if we I mean, can... breadfruit do like a lot of sunlight, but the, you know, it's still it's a, it's, a, it's like it's doing love, great. What I love about breadfruit, I don't, you know, I don't really fertilize. I'll mulch them a couple times a year. I don't do anything. It's so amazing. Those are green. I mean, look at how yeah, like, they don't seem to have green. too much pests, do they? And not really. Not really. Uh, there's a, there is a caterpillar every once in a while that eats away the leaves, but that's very rare. I have not seen any infestation yet. I mean, you know, you could always have an infestation, but. Um, no, man. I mean, the iguanas don't mess with it. The, the deer, the deer <laughs> will eat them when they're really young. I mean, that just like be, young that, leaf. That could be some uh, deer. Probably when it was younger. But when, but when the as the leaves get older, that it's it becomes like Velcro on the backside. Right. It's, it's, so what happens is the the, the the backside of the leaves become like Velcro. No Shut way. Up. I hadn't even tried that. Yeah, that is that's so cool. Kind of cool. That is it's cool. My fantasy yeah. fest costume. This I year. could just yeah. wear that. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so it is an irritant though. It'll, it'll, it'll irritate like your, your skin. I mean, some people are sensitive to it. I'm not too, uh, but like, I if haven't I'm, really uh, touched it. If I'm working with breadfruit, I'm usually wearing long sleeves. Yeah. You know? so, so you're um, talking about actual, the, the hair is, or the, the sap hair, that comes it, from it. it. The hair is there. You can feel that. Oh, I do yeah. feel it. It's hard to see. You can't even see it. Microscopic. But, yeah. Like but, but yeah, it's like the original, uh, velcro. Hmm. Yeah. Nice. Imagine you made some special gloves. You can climb up some, yeah. some cloth. <laughs> Spider-Man. Spider-Man on the cloth. Exactly. Uh, what I tell you? Oh, please talk about your, uh, what, what's the exact name for this? I call it gummy oh, worm. Oh, yeah, Cecropia. 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 And yeah, this, this is thing is gorgeous. Oh, we got some ripe ones here. No way. I've been really wanting to try it. I tried a, an early one. It tasted green. Uh, be careful. It's right here. Slippery. Watch your step. No way. See that? Wow. All right, so you just pull it. Just pull off a piece. So what happens if you look at look at this first? Look at this. So that's when it's unripe, and then and then it's like they they swell swell up and 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 oh, drop. So wow. Trap for us. What's the flavor of it? It's kind of got a gummy. It kind of almost like a gummy kind of flavor to it with a texture of a snake or a lizard. Really? That's Here, try some with me. <laughs> you know you like it, you're going to like it. It looks it's like mild. a It's very mild. It's very mild. It's breaking in half with me. It's sweet. Oh my gosh. Mild, sweet. There is a sweetness to it. This and the, the texture, it, like if I were to stick my tongue on a lizard's uh, scales. Yeah. That's what, that's it, what it kind of, like. the it texture like tastes like. Tail. Wow, it's really good. And it is a little, little chewy. There is a lot of sweetness to it. This is, yeah, it's, it's, it's a mild sweetness. I, I, I like it a lot. The kid, I actually like it. The kids like it a lot. And uh, it's really good. Might as well finish it off. Obviously, that's not something you take to market. Yeah, you just get them to grow it for this, this is fun. <laughs> this, well, this is fun for a tour. I mean, yeah. like, I'm eating what, lizard? Like, I'm eating a lizard tail. Like, yeah. Like, Cause they wanna, it looks like have it. you ever tried to dry it out and actually turn it into a gummy? No. That would be cool. That would be I wonder cool. if you can, though. You might. Try it. You buy here's a lizard tail. <laughs> People believe you. I mean, it really does look like. Look at it. If you were just. So that's the bread nut right over here. Oh, nice. That's the bread right. The now. leaves are very different. They're like larger. Yeah, they're larger. Um, I actually wasn't really planning to like leave the tree there. I just planted it, put it in the just ground. Just ha end up happening. Uh, well, I'm gonna probably get rid of that palm. So. But yeah. it's just it's gonna get take over. So yeah. Well, what's um, the what's the fruit like on the bread and nut? Is it uh, similar. Well, it's, it's nutty, man. You don't Very nutty. Yeah, it's, it's all about the nuts. Oh, okay. So the seeds are the main. Yeah, it's, it's all about the seeds. Yeah. I, I haven't. I've never tried it. This hasn't fruited yet. Um, but yeah, yeah. The, the, the leaves are massive. Mm -hmm. I also got other artichokes in my nursery. I got a uh, meringue, and I also got a petalai. 
some other different stuff. So, hey guys, how you doing? Um, so this is breadfruit right here. These are two different varieties. This is an Otea, and this is a Mafala. And Mafala is what I have mostly at the Grimmel Grove right now. Uh, Otea, this is a new one that I, I just got, uh, thanks to the Teresa Feed Foundation. They uh, donated uh, these tissue cultures, and tissue cultures are done in a lab. Uh, they're done from DNA, and so it's really the cleanest way to really to propagate. And they actually grow super fast uh, as tissue cultures as well. Nice thing too about tissue cultures is they're nice and straight. Mm -hmm. Or they're my perfect. hair layers sometimes are kind of yeah. a little curved, curved around, like a little yeah. bonsai. <laughs> yeah, so so this is exciting. Again, this is Malfala right here, and this is Otea. I'm really excited about this Otea. I've never had an Otea before, um, and it's supposed to be a very salt tolerant uh, breadfruit. Interesting. Which is really great for the Florida Keys. That would be great. Yeah. So uh, That's exciting. So we're excited again. A really big, big shout out to the Trees of Feed Foundation for uh, helping me out, uh, helping Grimmel Grove out, and helping out uh, people be able to grow breadfruit. You deserve it. Thank you.